Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been forever since I have said this and uh, it feels like that obviously because it has been forever since I have said this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you must follow me at this handle right here because I post a lot of quick tutorials and uh, quick looks and everything on there. So definitely do follow me and if you guys have been following me, then you know that I have been posting on Instagram a lot and YouTube has taken a tiny little step back but I am back and as you can see with a bang because uh, this look right here is super duper trooper glam and it is inspired by one of my most favorite beauty gurus Desi Perkins if you saw her recent look that she posted on her Instagram account it's this one right here as you can see the gold is just crazy her eyes are packed with glitter but the way she's applied it is not really packed on a whole lot of glitter it is very sparse it is very beautifully applied uh, it is very beautifully applied which is what i have tried to do right here so i hope you guys love this and if you do then please do like this video and give this video a thumbs up basically and if you haven't already then please do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video from me and before i blab on more let's get right into it I'm using the shade Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette in the crease after which I'm using a darker orange shade called Real Girl from the same palette and you want to make sure that the crease is not very well defined. We want to keep it very natural and uh, basically just ensure that it is defined but not as well as we do for other looks. Next I'm taking this shade from the Dreamcatcher palette by NYX. Uh, this is a beautiful light gold shade. I have used a wet brush to apply this shade because I really wanted that sheen of this color to come through. Um, next I'm going to be using the fluffy brush. I'm going to be starting to apply the glitter using the glitter glue. You want to ensure you use that fluffy brush. I'm using the MAC loose glitter in gold and taking about that much glue just going to barely touch the brush into the glue and apply it onto my eyelids. Now, um, wherever you are touching the glitter glue on your eye is where you're going to be applying the glitter. So using the same brush, I picked up very little glitter and I'm just going to start and kind of apply it all over my eyelids. Now you want to uh, do this process about two or three times or maybe even four times uh, to ensure you have glitter everywhere you want and you don't want to apply it very thick. It's not a very thick layer it's a very thin layer just to give that really nice liquid gold effect after which I'm using a clean brush and just brushing off all the excess glitter um, I'm gonna be moving on to the base after this before which I want to clean off all that excess glitter with a wet wipe moving on to the base I'm gonna be starting and priming my face with honey dew me up by NYX it is such an amazing amazing product it has gold flakes in it and it really helps in brightening the skin i have noticed it since the last two times since i have used this and you would think this would keep your skin oily but actually the skin absorbs all of that product next using huda beauty foundation my shade is baklava i'm using the nyx teardrop sponge to apply this all over my face and using the same sponge to blend the foundation into my skin. Want to make sure it is well blended, very seamlessly blended, so take your time with it and really make sure that that foundation is blended well into the skin. Once I'm done blending the foundation, I'm going to be moving on to concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in a shade that is lighter than my skin tone. So this is doing two things for me. I'm concealing as well as highlighting using the same concealer. So highlight all the high points of my face. Next, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This concealer is the exact shade as my skin tone so I'm just going to use that around my mouth to hide the darkness and then I'm going to be using that same sponge and I'm going to be up just blending that concealer into my skin. Next using Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation by NYX. I am just going to use this to set everywhere I have applied the concealer which is basically the center of my face. I want to make sure that concealer is very well set. We don't want that to budge at all. 
Moving on, I am using this No Filter Finishing Powder by NYX. Now, this is in a shade that is darker to my skin tone and I'm just going to use that to bronze my face up. Basically, just applying it to the outer edges of my face and just to ensure that my face has some dimension, I'm going to be using this Medium Contour by the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I'm just going to be contouring under my cheekbones and my nose. Next, using that peachy shade from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette, I'm just going to apply that from my temples all the way to the apples of my cheek. Next, I did do my brows but I haven't shown the entire thing because y'all will probably go to sleep if I showed how I filled in both my brows. Um, using this highlighter, I actually lost some footage where I used the cream highlighter from the Huda, same Huda palette and I just applied that everywhere where I am highlighting with the powder highlighter right here. Um, next, I am going to be using that same highlighter to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Boom! Love this highlighter. It is so amazing. Using Sphinx from um, the Prism palette from Anastasia, I'm just going to use that to apply that shade under my waterline on the lower side of my eyes. After which, I use the Urban Decay Mascara in Perversion and apply thick coats to the top and bottom lashes. Finally, I popped on these House of Lashes Iconics, which are by far the best lashes I have ever used. They look so phenomenal on every single person. Moving on to the lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Bombshell, and which is a very beautiful pinky nude. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips before I move on to applying the gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Gilded. This is a fantastic gloss i mean just see and it's so perfect for this look and mixed in with that huda beauty shade it is looking just fantastic and it goes so well it literally brings the entire look together so that's it guys we're done i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as you can see it is liquid gold on the eyes liquid on the lips and a whole lot of highlighting so if you guys enjoyed this i will see you in my next video bye